Hi everyone and welcome. This is a responsive web design tutorial with Divi. Now today's tutorial is very, very important because majority of people that surf the web do so using mobile devices. So if your website is not optimized for mobile devices, guess what? You're losing a lot of viewers because majority of them are coming from mobile devices. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do responsive web design with Divi. But before we get started, if you're brand new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course. So head over to dbuniversity.com and enroll on that free WordPress course. 100% free and no strings attached. And also, if you want to learn how to design awesome looking websites using Divi, I also have a discount of 50% on my course. Again, I will leave all that information in the show notes below. Okay, so let's dive in and let's do some responsive web design with Divi. So I have a website here that, I, um, that I'm putting together. Now this website is part of my um, upcoming course about how to create membership websites. So this is going to be exciting. Now if I scroll here through this website we can see that everything looks perfect. Right. Now this is mainly because this is on a desktop. So let's take a look at how this website looks when we take a look at it on a mobile device. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna enable the visual builder because this is the best way to actually see the different views of your website. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here to the bottom, click my expand settings, and then I'm gonna cycle through these three tabs. So the first tab here is the tablet view. Okay, so this is how our website looks on a tablet. So as I'm scrolling here, okay, it's not too bad but ideally this text should be a bit uh, smaller. And then now we start to see the problem. So you can see here that um, the couple's head is cut off and these could be aligned better. Okay, now let's go to the mobile device. So if I click on here, we can see here things start going crazy. Our title here is actually uh, off the borders. Uh, this text could be slightly smaller then as I scroll down, you can see the numbers, they're all messed up. And then uh, the video is fine. Okay, these are fine. And again, uh, the couple's head is, uh, heads are cut off. And then here on the testimonials, we can see that these are not in view at all. So these are the things that I need to address in today's tutorial and show you how to do this. Now, when it comes to designing these websites, you need to get into a habit of using these uh, mobile device modes as you're designing. And I'll show you how that looks like. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come over here to my desktop view. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to come over here into my module settings. And then I'm gonna click on design because this is where we get everything. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my title text. So my title text is uh, this large text here, parenting and uh, relationships. So that's the text. So what I'm gonna do here is to click this little icon, right? So this mobile device icon. So if I click on it, we can see here that on my desktop it's 50. If I come over here to my tablet, I can actually reduce that, okay? So let's bring that down to about say 28. Click on the smartphone. Reduce that further to about 20. So now we can see that these three views are not actually too bad, right? So let's continue. Let's go ahead and go into the content text. In fact, this might be the subhead text. Let's, let's take a look. Yes, it's the subhead text. So here I'm in the desktop view. So let's put that at 28. I'm gonna click this uh, icon again. Uh, click on the tablet view. Ideally, we want to reduce that text because it's a bit too much, right? So I think 22 will do. Come over here to the smartphone. And again, let's bring that down to about maybe 18. Okay, so 18 is looking good. And then let's come over here to our button. Let's start off with button one. So our letter spacing on button one is a bit too much. So we can come over here, click on tablets to start off with. So here it's at zero, that's fine. On the smartphone, it's at zero. Okay, so that's, that's not too bad. I'm gonna close that. And then I'm gonna scroll down and let's go to the actual text size. 
Okay, so here it is, the button text size. So I'm gonna click this icon again, come over here to my desktop. So my desktop is 22, click on the tablet. On my tablet here, I'm gonna reduce this to about, let's say, maybe 18. Come over here to the smartphone, do the same, reduce that to, ideally we wanna have this in the same line, so let's try 14. Right, in fact, that could work. Okay, 14. Right, so we do the same. Let's go over here to our button two. Okay, so same thing. We're gonna come over here, uh, go to our button text size, click on our tablet. We're gonna reduce that. Okay, come over here to the smartphone, do the same. Okay, so that's looking better now. So now if we cycle through these different views, we can see now on the tablet and the desktop, things look much, much better. Now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and save. Let's move on to uh, the, second, uh, the second section. So here again, I'm gonna come over here and click my icon. And then I'm gonna go into my design, click my title text, no, numbers text, because this, that represents this number here. And then I'm gonna come here and click this icon, click on tablets. So here, this is the letter spacing. So on the tablet, let's bring it down Okay, how much is it on the desktop? Okay, this is 46. So on the tablet, let's bring it down to about, say, 23. Okay, on the smartphone, I'd say eight. Okay, so the line height is fine. Let's take a look at the text size. So let's come over here, click the icon again. Let's reduce that on the smartphone like that. So I think 56 is fine on the tablet. Bring that down a bit to maybe about 72, and then desktop is fine at 100, okay? Right, so next, let's move on to our title text. So I'm gonna click on my title text here, click on the icon again, and let's play around with the sizes. So here on the line height, in fact, let me increase that a bit. All right, so 1.6, I'm gonna click on the icon, come over here to the tablet. So the line height is not too bad, actually. So let me put it at one, smartphone, Okay, that's fine at one, it's not too bad. So now, let's take a look at the sizes. So here on the smartphone, our title text size is 15. We can reduce that a little bit. In fact, let's start off with 20. Tablet, maybe we can make that uh, 30. And then on the desktop, right, 36. Okay, so that's looking fine. I'm gonna increase the line height here a little bit to about 1.8. So as you're doing this, you just need to keep uh, going back and forth to see how that layout looks. Okay, so here again, I'm gonna go back and see in my three views how this looks. So that's fine now. Perfect. So now you can see that this number initially, it was overlapping and now it's back in place. And that means if someone views this on a desktop, it looks perfect. And then on a, on a tablet, it also looks nice. And as well as the, smart, the, the smartphone or the mobile device. Okay, so that's looking good. Now let's take a look at what else we can adjust here. Right, so this text here, we can see that it's not looking good on these views. So let's fix that. So I'm gonna save this for now. And then I'm gonna come over here, go into my settings of my module, click on design. And this is the normal text, so it's normal text settings. Right, so here I'm gonna click the icon again one more time. So 22 is fine for my desktop. I'm gonna click on tablet. And let's take a look here. Right, so here we can play around with this. So I'm not sure why I have two paragraphs here, but anyway, I can fix that. So I am just gonna reduce this to about say 20, because desktop is 22, I think, yep. So tablet here. Reduce that to about 20, and then for the smartphone, and make sure you keep this in view as you're making all your changes. So for the smartphone, I'm gonna reduce that to about 14, and reduce the line height a little bit. So that's looking fine. Now, because this is dummy text, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Right, so I'm gonna delete. So that's fine anyway. So if you're going to be using this uh, layout, you can always go in and replace my text with your text. Okay, so that's looking fine. Uh, let's go back in and see how this looks on the title. So I'm gonna click this uh, settings icon, come over here to design, but we might not need to change the heading text. So let's take a look. 
Right, so I'm gonna click here, tablet. Okay, so the tablet seems fine. Okay, and the smartphone is fine too. So I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Right, so let's fix this image. So when we took a look earlier on, we noticed that the image was cutting off the couple's heads. So let's come over here into our row settings. Click on design, click on background because this is how we added our background image. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to make sure that uh, this image is set to top center. So now if I cycle through the different views, this should solve the problem. So let me go back in. In fact, I could do it right here on the bottom. So I'm gonna click these, these different views and that has been fixed now. So we can see now that the heads are now in view. So let's try the phone view as well. Perfect. So all your visitors coming from all these different uh, devices can view your website in a nice way. So that's how you do responsive web design with Divi. Okay, so if you're brand new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course that I'm giving away. So all you have to do is to go to diviuniversity.com and uh, click this uh, button which says enroll for free. And then all you have to do is to enter your name and email address and that will give you instant access to the course. Now, if you're familiar with WordPress and you'd like to learn more about how to design websites like these using uh, Divi, I have a discount here which will give you 50% off when you use my coupon code DV50. So all you have to do is to go to this link, dvuniversity.com forward slash elegant themes DV3.0 course. And then when you scroll down here, we can see here that this course is uh, costing 247. So if you enter your coupon code, and uh, let me just enter it here, DV50. If I click on apply, you'll get that course for $123.50. So that does it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to diviuniversity.com because I'm regularly releasing videos and also discounts. So by being on the mailing list, you'll be notified and also get some discounts. Thank you all for watching and see you soon.